playing this? 80 hours? 80 hours to fi for him to finally fucking get some! What of Barnabas? Do we pursue we him? We have no choice. No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. A giant gap, and there's a giant hole in the in the center of the world. And watch more bounties are gonna pop up. Mid says, Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale, but as tall. And then there's two. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Across the Narrow. The Power of Ice. Clive is claiming a portion of the icon Shiva's essence, and tuning to Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clyde's magic spell, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Ice Age, which forcefully knocks back enemies a great distance. Ability details are found in the Abilities tab in the main menu. Shiva's Feet Shiva's iconic feet, Cold Snap, can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, or back to either dodge attacks or close in on enemies. Oh, so he actually gets a proper trickster. That's kind of cool, actually. That might actually be a replacement to the Phoenix. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tali will allow it. It looks like there's more missions, side missions for me to do. Hold on, let me see the abilities that...
Ice Age. Unleash a river of icicles that greatly knocks back any enemies in strikes. Hold button down to increase potency. Mesmerize. Launch multiple targets of ice that upon striking lighter enemies draw them towards Clive. Can be used in midair. Oh, so he even, so this even has a, the, it, it's basically a better version of Garuda's fucking, uh, a snatch. Oh, if I mix that with Garuda's abilities. Shit. Give me some ideas. Summon a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that are become trapped inside. Oh, that actually would be good. So if you catch an enemy in the air or whatever, you have toggle launch them up. You can use this to pop them in there in that place, setting up for some other crazy shenanigans. Actually, you know what? I could see it this and then using uh, Bahamut's laser. All right, diamond dust. Summon a winter storm that freezes enemies in place within a radius before dealing massive ice damage and knocking them back. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a replacement to the Phoenix. I feel like this would be good if I have if I'm using the Phoenix, right? And just teleport, but since I'm using uh Shiva, this move is kind of useless. This, however, would work because I could just pull all the enemies in and then just go up with Garuda. the bad news then did you what bad news about dravosht blackthorn's old horn with the forge and all that well anyway the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business and the village safe from the flood for now but they've got other problems a kashik every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning apparently zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time they need help and quick Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. I feel like one of these is gonna be a stupid bounty. Where I have to hunt an enemy. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, 
let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? Why does he sound like a drug addict? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. I don't know how you're gonna cross your, your toes, but okay. You need to upgrade. Let me see what upgrades I can do. Trouble with your gear? Oh. So, what it be? Yep, deep was frostbite, leaving her fail mark upon their skins. Should last you a good while. I'm not gonna lie, why does the sword kind of look like Final Fantasy, like the logo for Final Fantasy, uh, 13, I believe. What do you recommend? Am I, am I imagining that, or? This is a tavern, not a brothel. Or like something out of Skyrim. One or the other. Still alive, are ya? Coin purse weighing you down. I'm be thankful you got that much. Oh, I just sold my potions. I'm retarded. Fuck! You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind. I was trying to buy it and I and I hit. I didn't realize what I was doing until like <laughs> at the tail. I was like, oh no! Come back. Wait, hold on. Where am I going? Mm, this way. Please let it be just one mission in here. Thank God. The pen is mightier than the penis. No, <laughs> sir, I, I, and other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. 
Lady Dory refuses all of the assistance. It is not too much trouble. I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. But I can speak to her at least. I'm surprised it, I'm surprised there's no bounties. Covered in nicks and lumps. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Oh my god, there's more missions! There's missions everywhere. Ah! Oh my god, this is bullshit. They said, nah, we're gonna hit you with everything at the end. That's some bullshit. Who does this? The stream is starting to go to shit. I think the stream is starting to go to shit. Oh, thank God I'm recording all this. Togo just was attacking something off, off screen. I didn't even know what the hell he was attacking.
Hold on. Although we might have to actually end the stream and start it back up fresh. Hold on. Okay. OBS is being weird. I might have to stop the recording too. Oh wait, nope, nope. I think I fixed it. Hold on. We're good. We're good. No issue. Hold on. Let me look. We're back. Everything good? All right, we're okay. All right. I don't know what the hell happened there. Should be somewhere nearby. 
Assuming she's still here. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep him in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gazal Greens? Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And Chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. still hurt, does it? It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Ambrosia won't help me here. Run like the wind.
They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. You're welcome to try. Wake and win! <laughs> So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter. And I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You bitch. You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The Dane does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you, for everything. Now, I'd better let these bearers know that they're safe. Can 
I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Not until we go over to freaking East Pool. Or not nah, just gonna teleport me? Yep, it's just gonna teleport me. Okay. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. The Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own. Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, We've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. 
I will appeal to them. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We Guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. The home is not worth dying for. Wow. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. What, a dog bit you? This place, Eastpool. This is your village. Your home. And if you uh. fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your friends. Freedom, your very lives. And your Reese's pieces. They're gonna take your Reese's pieces. Are you going to stand by and let that happen to And the last slice of pizza. Anything about the last slice. Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? Why is she holding a frying pan like it's Excalibur? La frying pan, Escalamune. What? what are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women fighting together. For Eastpool. For Eastpool. Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. But you'll show them how freeborn fight. All on that inner side, damn. Gladly. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance to wait. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. 
Sir, wait! They're here. Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria. For Rosaria! For the last slice of pizza! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Right you are, Martha. Before the storm. Oh, I'm about to throw down. And here it comes. I will not let this village fall. I just gave that fucking raptor a major spanking. I said, let me just punch it all up in its ass. It got extremely fisted. That's so wrong, but it, that's exactly what it looked like. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rushfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. What do you mean you sent one? I already see it. What are you talking about? So wait. How many Akashic remain in East Pool? You didn't see the message say, I sent? My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the curl. Oh, there's a curl that's win a cusk? Oh, God damn it. If you're sure, my lord. May the founder protect you. I gotta fight a giant fucking lightning cat. That's possessed. That's, that sounds absolutely fucking lovely. Next one's mine. Who's calling up Rosia now?
I got the way. Move, bitch. Move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> All right. Back to East Pool. Lord Rossfield, the Curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the Founder for that. And for you, my Lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the Horde. I have Guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but... I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it, but now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what yes, is ours. Yes, fight for that last protect slice of pizza. Pool. If somebody takes it, you punch them in the throat. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on, then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight, and I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you. I think he would have right. wanted to have his head intact, but I you know. I remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now too, and I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. 
I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. But you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course, and I'll be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes? <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> There's one side that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. I'll do my best. I might have to stop streaming for a bit because I'm starting to feel like out of it. And these and they got a lot of side missions they want me to do. Turns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt. Poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow, we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work... <sighs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day, that whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well... We both wanted the same thing, 
to make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I got fucking side missions galore. Look at this. One side mission, two side mission, three side mission, four side missions. This is bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to call it right here and then come back and do more of this because there's way too much shit going on. I like need the rest and stuff like that. Oh my god. This, 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 we're so close to the end though. That's the thing. We're so damn close. It's not even funny. Like once, I feel like once these side missions, th th literally this is, Square does this with a lot of their games. They'll throw these side missions, like a lot of side missions at the very tail end of their games and make you do all this ridiculous stuff because the, clo the we're getting close to the end. Once these side missions are up, I feel like we're going to have maybe like a couple more bounties to do and that's it. And we'll be facing off against Odin and then I'm going to assume Ultima afterwards. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this really long session of Final Fantasy 16. This is nine hours of recording this. I will get these parts uploaded to YouTube later on because I know at one point the stream the stream kind of started acting weird. So at least I was recording to make sure that everything was preserved. When I come back, we'll be doing more of this, wrapping this up. So that way I can do a full-blown review of said game give my final takes on it and prepare for bomb rush cyberfunk when that comes later on in the week peace out like always going underground have a good one